Nalu is a unique fishing destination in WA. It's rugged and that means it's still somewhere near untouched in places and you won't find too many better beaches than the boat launching area at the end of the station. Today I was heading out with Pete from Blue Water Boat Hire who is going to share with me a special reef fishing technique he uses to great effect at Nalu. We've got some muleys ganged up here. Nalu station's that way. We're in about 50 metres of water. And I'm out here with Pete from Blue Water Bowtie, and this is one of your favourite spots, isn't it? Yeah, floating the baits down, works every time. Norway snapper, baldies, rankin cod, we'll have a ball. They are some fantastic fish, and this is a really interesting way to do it. So we're going to get some baits in the water. I'll get Pete to talk you through it. So what are we doing here, mate? Well, what we do is I just generally flick it out there, and then I'll um, sort of fly fish it out ten times just to get the line out so it can gently float to the bottom. Uh -huh. Then once it gets to the bottom, all I do is flick the bail arm over, click the bait runner on, and just let it feed out. And the fish generally pick it up. And they're very timid bites, oh, aren't they? Very soft. You know, no bite, they just, it's just a little run, isn't it? Just a little run. So a bit of patience and bottom fishing. Um, Two of the things I'm not noted for. We'll see how we go. Ooh, that's got a bend. Have a look at that. You've got to let it sit down there, don't you? Whoa, that's got some go. Whoa. He's giving you some hurry up, mate. Yeah. A little bit of bother. He is a bit, but as long as I can keep him off the bottom, we're safe. Under the boat. Oh, that's fantastic. Dick. Have a look. That is a beauty. Spangled emperor. They don't get a heck of a lot bigger than that, do they? Not really, no. You do get a lot of them him. here on floaters. Whoa. Have a look at that for a spangled emperor. So beautiful with those blue lines on their nose. And he's fat. He'd weigh four or five, four five kilos five kilo, easy. Yeah. You get a blue line emperor up here as well. They're not as big though, are they? Nah, not as big, but nice and white. Hard fighting fish, all right. Well, they're here. They're here. Because the bite of these fish is so timid, if you feel something going, you really just have to let it run with it. You'll feel a little run, like that, and they take off, and then you... Yep! <laughs> hey, there you go. Ooh, this has got some weight. It worked it out, eh? Oh, look at the bend in this rod. That's a 24 kilo come here, Snick. They've got some force. <laughs> it's a real technique to this, honestly. I had no idea it was so tricky to hook these things, but oh, you've got to have patience. And it's a real different kind of bottom fishing, this drift baiting. And I'll tell you what, it's given them. Come here, stick in the pen 975, a real workout. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you. Got the big cobia under them. You reckon? They probably would be. See their fins? Yeah. Sorry, Colour. mate, how's your fish going? Colour. Get a net for me, mate. Yep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Baldy. It's a ball chin. Beautiful. Ball chin groper. Look at that. Hey? Do you get a better eating fish than that? Some people oh, say no. Get out, get out. Oh, it's all happening now. <laughs> it's ball chin. It's just going off. Oh. You on? Yeah, that's You're on big time. That's wow. A, that's a ranking cod. <laughs> Here you go. That's He's pretty confident, isn't he? Mate. Yeah, I'd call it for a ranking, my sir. Just check out the teeth on that. Ooh, there you go, look. Wow, that's why they're called tusk fish. And you'll see the teeth are slightly blue. And the bones of these fish are actually blue. So in the north, a lot of people call them blue bone. And Mark, uh, you want to fall over the rods again? No, I didn't think so. Oh, no, I've dropped him. No, I've dropped him, fellas. Oh. Oh. You stand up by your ranking cod? Yeah, definitely, mate. Look. It's easy to call it when you ain't seen it. Oh, get out of it. Go on, we need another one. Get Come another on. one down, quick. Oh, that's, that's the oh, one we were looking mate. for, mate. This is the big one. That's the one. That's a good fish, too. 
<clears throat> mm, no pressure now, no pressure. It's all up to him. Oh, hello. Might not be, actually. You let me know when you need a net, mate. Yeah, no what worries. What do you reckon it is? Um, Test you. Spangly. Spangly? Big Spangly. You know it pretty well, don't you? Well, I hope so. Got a bit of colour here now. All right. Here's the net now. If you're going to net your mate's fish, <laughs> it's a really, really important job. So do it right. And here's how we do it. You're right, it is a spangly. Now here we do we get the net under the fish at all times and we just gently lift it in. Now there's no need to do anything other than lift it in by the leader. And there you have it. Spangly, baldy, spangly. spangly. The, uh, the drift baiting technique doesn't get any better than that. And if you want a <clears> spangled <throat> emperor, come here to Narlow and see Pete. <laughs> You've got to be happy with that, mate. Nice, aren't they? No complaint about him, mate. <laughs>